What is going on, people? Mark from Double Clutch Auto Reviews here. Thank you so much again for tuning in for another review video. Welcome back to part two of the Ford F-150 Lightning Review. We'll continue where we left off, and I hope you all enjoy the video. <laughs> all right, everyone. Are you excited as I am? Let's take the brand new 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning out for a spin. I don't have a ton of experience with these types of vehicles. I'm slowly getting there, so bear with me, but I'm sure this one's going to be a treat. So let's go out and have a rip. Right now I am also in one pedal driving mode, which definitely takes some getting used to. Once you get the hang of it though, you essentially just have to keep in mind that your throttle release has to be very smooth or else you're gonna lurch forward like this because the regenerative braking is just gonna lurch you forward. Once you get used to the fact that the car isn't gonna keep coasting and then you have to hit the brake, to stop you just have to get very proficient with releasing the throttle pedal very slowly and carefully but once you do you can one pedal drive rather smoothly all right let's punch it damn this thing is quick <laughs> wow it is just so quiet yet so fast definitely zero to 60 in 4.4 if not better i think what's even more impressive than acceleration from a stop is when you're already going at 40 miles an hour and then you stomp the throttle and it still puts you back in your seat with all of that torque all at once. It is just a hoot. I know that a lot of people have already been numb to the EV thrill of putting your foot down and instantly feeling all that torque, but honestly, I don't know. To me, it is just so fun. Now I looked into this infotainment system and I couldn't find the uh, propulsion sound. I don't know if that's an extra added option. I'm assuming it probably is. And I've heard it on other reviews and it sounds really cool actually, even though it's obviously fake. But uh, even without the propulsion sound, you don't need it because you still have all of this speed. You still have all of this propulsion dare I say. And the materials in here are pretty nice. Everything looks good and feels solid. It's a top notch truck, really. I'm a huge fan. I think buyers are going to be seriously happy with this truck. You're looking for an EV truck that's in the affordable price range that also delivers exceptionally well. This hits the nail on the head. I just want to keep driving it, really. I want to take this thing on a road trip, honestly. This thing is just a pleasure to drive. It's so quiet, it's so smooth, it has tons of power, it's very comfortable, and the materials are all super nice in here. As a daily driver, this is perfect, especially like if you have solar panels in your house or something, and you can just plug into your house and charge the truck basically for free with the power of the sun. I mean, come on, you can't beat it. If I ever have that setup one day where I have solar panels and a built-in home charger for an EV, and I need a pickup truck like this as a everyday family vehicle. The only thing I'm not really sure of is how reliable are all these electronics going to be, especially these batteries in 10, 15, 20 years. I highly doubt that this truck is going to last as far as its overall reliability like the 80s and 90s F-150s did. But that is just something that we have to come to terms with in the modern era. Every manufacturer is going to EVs and every single vehicle being built nowadays is all full of electronics. All right, now we're setting it into some corners. And uh, yes, this truck is certainly fast in a straight line, uh, but it still handles like a pickup truck. <laughs> oh man, whoa, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep, sorry about my water bottle rolling around back there, but uh, wanted to get some good footage in for you guys. Wow. Okay. Yes, you feel all of the weight. Yes, there is body roll and it pitches into the corner. Yet I could control it relatively well. Maybe it's just the way I'm feeling the pickup truck with my own experience. If you want to drive this truck aggressively through corners, you can do it. It will handle it. You just have to be very conscious of the weight and very careful. Essentially, you're just whipping around a pickup truck chassis and frame with all of the torque you could ever want or need instantly. So now I'm driving over a lot of bumps and uh, I know it seems like I'm getting tossed around a little bit, um, but as far as what I'm feeling in my butt, the truck is soaking up the bumps pretty well, even in sport mode. So you know what's crazy is I just drove a 2018 Audi RS3 here at Tasca as well earlier this morning. And I'm telling you, I honestly don't think 
that that RS3 can hold a candle to this F-150 Lightning in a straight line. On the twisty back road though, obviously the RS3 would smoke this thing, but just in a pure straight line, especially when you're already at speed, the RS3 definitely took a little bit of convincing to get that turbo spooled and get that car going. This, nope, just hit the throttle and the truck will send you back. The backup camera and 360 degree top-down camera on this thing are absolutely incredible, by the way. I can see pretty much everything around me. Very easy to back up in tight quarters as I'm doing now. One thing I'm not a fan of though, I get it, it's for the betterment of society and everyone's safety, but you cannot enter in an address in the navigation system, whether you are a driver or a passenger, if the vehicle is in motion. You have to come to a stop to start typing into the navigation system. Ready, go. <laughs> yes. Just laid down some rubber in a fully electric pickup. Wow, that was fun. One more time. Eh, why not? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, highway on ramp. Oh, yeah, the body roll, but there's so much torque. When you get to higher speeds on the highway, which I will not disclose in this video, you could start to feel the truck die off. The first initial acceleration is super hard. But then as you get up to speed, it starts to mm, fall flat a little bit. To be honest, I'm not really feeling too much of a difference between normal and sport mode. Uh, maybe it soaks up bumps a little bit better in normal, but to be honest, as far as acceleration, throttle response, ride quality, and handling, both modes feel relatively the same. I also just listened to the sound system in the F-150 Lightning. It sounds pretty good. I turned the bass all the way up via the equalizer, and it sounds relatively crisp. It's not gonna blow you away as far as the base is concerned, but for most consumers, they'll be plenty satisfied. Jeez. That is just too much fun. A three, a two, a one, a go. <laughs> In conclusion, to wrap up this review, on paper, the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning is the best F-150 ever made. It has a max towing capacity of 10,000 pounds, a max payload of 2,200 pounds. It is incredibly fast in a straight line, obviously, for a pickup, and it handles relatively well in corners, definitely due to that independent rear suspension. That certainly helps. This also has the most amount of cubic feet of covered cargo space, of course, due to that frunk. It also has the least amount of regular maintenance required of any F-150 in history. Obviously, that's dependent on the reliability of all of the electronics and the batteries and whatnot. It is also the least costly F-150 to run ever based on its fuel source being electricity, obviously. It also has the most technology and high-tech features of any F-150 ever made. And it is also super smooth, super quiet, super comfortable, and super easy to drive. I can certainly see the F-150 Lightning not only living up to all of its hype, it is well-deserved by the way, but I can secondly also see it becoming a highly, highly desirable vehicle for many EV truck buyers in the future once the availability of the F-150 Lightning becomes more prevalent. We will see many more of these trucks on the roads in the years to come, you bet. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you very much enjoyed my little review of this awesome brand new Ford F-150 Lightning. Thank you so much to Tasca Ford of Seekonk for allowing me to borrow this truck for the whole afternoon. I had a ton of fun driving it. I hope you had fun watching this review. Please go check them out if you are in the New England area, especially the South Coast Massachusetts area. I will put all of their links, including their website and contact information in the description below. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of the F-150 Lightning. I'd like to know what you guys have to say. Thank you all again for checking out my video and please hit that like button if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Really helps me out. Other than that, guys, take care. Stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next review. Peace.